Man, it's sad to see someone bipolar going through mania or anyone going through psychosis, really. I stumbled into this notebook again, which I used when I was in the psych ward in 2018 to 2019. It has people's contact numbers and things that they recommended. And one of the things that was written down said, Raw Sammy YouTube channel. So I remember I checked her out years ago. She's a YouTuber who talks about her bipolar experiences. And since I just found this again, I checked her out again and she's been uploading recently. And man, she's changed. I don't know if it's because of the mania, but her speaking got very quiet and rambling. Thank you guys for joining me today for this video. So this is just going to be one of my casual sit down and chat with you guys kind of videos. You take all of these symptoms that people have and then medicate them and then they go away. But, however, the point of the fact of the matter is What if they're not delusions? That's what I'm saying. Anyway, because that's the point. It's kind of confusing. And she's so thin, she's lost so much weight. Now, I've lost weight too when I was going manic. It could be that, it could be something else probably the mania. In one of her recent YouTube videos, she's talking about how if she had the right paranormal equipment, she'd be able to record all the paranormal things that she's seeing and hearing. Classic psychosis. I mean, I've experienced similar things, hearing voices and seeing hallucinations, believing that the entities that I was interacting with had special powers like controlling electromagnetic waves or influencing people's brains. It's just sad to see someone in that state because having been in that state, when you snap out of it, it's like everything was a nightmare and you had no control of what was going on, including yourself. So every time I see someone in that state, I wish I could just snap them out of it and they come back to a normal state again. But obviously the only thing that's helped me do that has been medication, antipsychotic medication. And it doesn't work immediately either. It took me months. So it's sad to see bipolar disorder and similar disorders like schizoaffective or schizophrenia destroying people's lives when they're in that psychosis manic state. And it gets even trickier because people in that state often refuse medication like I did myself when I was in that state. I did not want to take medication. So there's no easy method to bring them back. So yeah, these mental health diseases are just so destructive can be super destructive and it's sad to see people in that state for months or even years well i wish sammy all the best although i don't see a light at the end of the tunnel anytime soon it's probably going to take a while for her to get help if she does get help at all having tried going off medication and then failing to keep my normal state a year later i spiraled back into mania i definitely realize that I need antipsychotic medications and without them my life would be in shambles right now. So I hope for all the best for Sammy and <sighs> there's no good way to end this. There's no happy ending at this point. It just looks grim.